I do hope you guys can't hear my uh, sister and her friend outside because they're outside and we have like a little screen door. They're just chilling, smoking. Hope you guys can't hear them. <sighs> it doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless, unless the secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. I like what they did here. I wish they did it again. There's no denying that we played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But one of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? Sun's rising. That's pretty. That's very pretty. <sighs> we don't have much time left. I wonder if Mila came up with anything. Let's go, I guess. <sighs> God. God damn it. Keep on thinking I can walk over the plants, but then you can't. I'm like, fuck. Oh. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I can't smell that squirrel nail run over. Away from here now. Yeah. It's probably in there getting a coffee. <sighs> no, I understand that part, but. Okay. Did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor for that matter? Where did you get that coffee? Shh. Are you speaking with headquarters? Oh wait, are you speaking with headquarters? Yes, I, I'll fill you in after. Now, shh. Isn't this... Where did you find it? In the lighthouse before we started. Now, for the last time... Shh! Go check in on him. How's it looking, Doc? How is John doing? Mm, barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. It better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. Yeah, I did. I, I talked to him. I don't know where to go now, because, you know, shit. Um... we can do. Hmm. I see, I see. <sighs> Probably into the library, I guess. I don't know. I, I really... Oh, wait. Hello. There's a side right here. Oh, bathroom. Mama, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday. It's Sunday, dear. Mm. Shh. Sleep.
I really should have watched those two. I really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. Mm, I suppose. Oh, uh, was there something you wanted to ask? Um. Future, please. This is your... This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss John. Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. Ah, fuck my ass. Oh, this bellow's not helping. Okay. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What, what happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market it was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me t to this offered me this job. I accepted it with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help get them back on their feet? They do, and eventually received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah likes this place too, and so we stayed. And as for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down he really wanted a family. I guess. So, what are you going to tell them about John? I, I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays, they'll so figure it out. Might as well, it's the nature of life, there's nothing to hide. Oh, uh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... He wanted to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. Yo, what's your name? You done yet? You're still talking. Holy fuck. Mm. What is it? What is it? Seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And in such a large amount, its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies that should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it 
to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. Uh, you know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the arse for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. Nora? This is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air. Oh, so we might get a prequel next, because I didn't know about Nora. They never mentioned anything about her. Ahem. Uh, I forgot my coffee. Wee! Oh, yeah, bye. <laughs> Beta blockers. That's crazy. It smells! Quit barging in and out of doors. The roadkill? Eva, it smells! You know, it's your fault for ruining over, running over it. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. What's going on? The children are still sleeping! Um, wait a minute. That last memory, the one we were stuck at. It was the same smell. What are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's lumbatic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? I'm... what? He means the smell is... Arguability... Uh, arg what? Arguably the most effective of memory recall. We can use it as the stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny is unconscious, he'll still suspectable. He's still suspectable, whatever. I, I, I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. Now, we just need to go fetch a piece of the roadkill. Yes, I'll just... Wait! Why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran over it! Exactly, I've already done my point. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Oh, you miserable bastard. Um, if it helps any, I... I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. <laughs> Act 3? We had Act 3? No? Okay. The other one was Act 3. They aren't really disposable gloves, but they'll probably change after this. Yeah, this is gonna suck. No, Ava, you wanna be real good right now? If you run. <laughs> How come you guys are fucking. You guys were running practically like at the beginning of the game, now you guys just walk. You guys are assholes. Okay. Let's go. Down here we go. To pick up some roadkill. Oh, they look. Huh. Deja vu. I don't know, right? Didn't that happen at, what's it called? Oh, shit. <sighs> roadkill, roadkill. What? Oh, I was stuck. Okay. <sighs> the kind of thing this job gets me into. It's not safe to just... Bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valid container in the car. It'd be at least make its odor containable or controllable. Yeah, instead of it just, you know, smelling up all in the house. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, where are you going? Oh, where are you going? I... I gotta go take a leak. Hmm. Wait, but they have restrooms. Uh, what a mess. The crash shook everything up. Let's see. Ah, 
here it is. Proceed, Valor Container. Now, to get some of the dirty roadkill. Wait, wait, that thing fell. Hmm? This... Painkillers? Damn it, I thought it was gonna tell me more. Received contained roadkill order. Yeah, because I wanted to see what the pills were. Because I was like, huh, what would happen? Oh, uh, hey! Oh, did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great! Uh, go get it set up. I'll be right back. Neil? These painkillers, I think they are yours. Uh, hey! Uh, may I ask, why are you on them? Um, uh... I wasn't going to tell you, but, um... Oh, this is embarrassing. A few days ago, I walked you know, onto a concrete wall. You just walked into a wall like that. What can I say? I was just in deep thought. You know how deeply I think? <laughs> These are some rather strong pills, Neil. And it was rather strong concrete wall. <laughs> Twas a match made in heaven, I say. Anyways, you got the road kill, right? Let's hurry. John's dying back there. Neil, you aren't addicted, are you? Are you kidding me? I'd overdose before I'd sink to that level of contrived mess. There, now I put it in your head. <sighs> okay, well, let's get the thing in there. So, when we get to that exact point, I will send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the value of... the valve for about three seconds. Yeah, certainly! About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Now, not like it mattered to a dead man. Damn. You should know that Johnny's condition is uh, deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Yeah, I got it. Let's do this shit. Luck's the last thing we need. Oh, I don't know. I think I'll give you luck. Dear Lord. Act 3! They shine their lights at their other lighthouses and at me. <sighs> I'll get the thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, it fucking hurts. Okay, there you go. Okay. Let's go. Do 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 fuck you John Fucking Dick Knew she still saw it Cause I'm seeing it too, why are there bunk beds? Like is it a friend or some shit or what? To think that this little thing's causing us so much trouble. I just wanna kick it out of space. I suppose all we can do now is to send the signal and hope. Well, ready? Mm, God. That's the signal. Oh shit. 
Something's happening. Quick, send it again. What's going on? Doctor, something's wrong. What? I mean, what? Take over from me, Lily. Oh, shit. His conditions has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. Fuck. Oh, what's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of his memory, now! What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. You gotta be kidding. Wait, why aren't you getting out then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out under this state, all our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny... Oh, you freaking... Uh, don't pull that contrived crap on me. This ain't a movie and you're no hero. You're just being a moron. And why are you being one too? Get the hell out of the here. Screw that. You're gone there. Probably pair me up with Alistair. Alistair, do you know how badly he smells? Worse than the roadkill. Damn it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat to the entrance exam. They have a love life, we know it. Oh! We're good! We're good! We're good! We're good! We're good! We're good! Uh, doctor? <gasps> Shit. Okay, well, look, this is all I fucking did. Um, I think we're okay for now. That's all I did. <laughs> God damn it, Doc. And are you able to pass? Nope. Oh, God, God, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks. Wait a minute. Yeah, and at the last Christmas party, you What? Huh? <laughs> they were like fucking arguing in the middle of the shit. Oh. Come on, let's go before that happens again. Um, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? Uh. You know that I did it, right? <laughs> You're an asshole. She's an a hole. Oh, I love her though. She's fucking awesome. Um, are we able to move there? I can't. I can go. I don't know how I go. Well, do I gotta initiate the thing again, or what do I do? Oh, hello. Oh, shit. Okay, that doesn't count. Okay. The fuck do I do then? I had to talk to. Oh, I guess I had to touch the ball again. <laughs> They're just cussing each other out. That's fucking hilarious. Um. Here goes nothing. I'm a dumbass. I went the fucking long ass way. I wasted time! John! Don't die on me! Ah, oh, dear lord. Are we in? Ah! Win. Okay. Earliest memories, right here. Wow, I can't believe that worked. So we actually made it. Hmm, but now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Neil, did you not notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Uh, what? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I did. I, I, I suppose not. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You got to take them there. Oh, I know, right? You got to take them there one day. 
Look at the door. Awesome. I mean, to the car. Awesome. Jeez, this time overlap is getting out of hand. <laughs> it looks like the ball's moving around on its own. He's just chasing it. Look at how many of them him are there. It's like a zoo. Mm-hmm. All things to the little fella's sacrifice. I mean, all things to the little fella's sacrifice. I hope. God damn you. Yep. Oh jeez, look at the time. <laughs> I better get going. This store closes early today. Oh, to get mother. Say hello to the boys for me. Boys? I will see you soon. Miss you around. Da -da 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 -da. Well, this is the end of the road. And you were s ain't and you were saying? Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place, it's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in the memory that could do such a thing would be... Shit! Duh! We need to go back now! Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come! Okay. 